you're the spin-off. The oldest trick in the book. Want a new show but can't be bothered to come up with an entirely new idea? Why not take a character from an existing hit and just put the focus on them instead? Genius! TV history is full of spin-offs, and for every great one there seems to be at least one dud. For every Frasier, Angel and Better Call Saul, there's a Joey, the Finder and the Lone Gunman. It's a risky game, but one TV execs will continue to play for many more years to come. And so with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 TV spin-offs you didn't know were happening. Number 10, Elsbeth. We're kicking things off with a spin-off of a spin-off. Spinception. Incept spin. You decide. The Good Wife debuted back in 2009 and followed a high flying lawyer after a public scandal involving her husband. Then came The Good Fight, which continued the story a year after the ending of the original show. A constant presence throughout those two shows is the character of Elspeth Tassioni, played by Carrie Preston. Elspeth is also a lawyer, described by the show as quirky. Oh boy, you know you're in for a treat when the Q word gets thrown around. But clearly somebody likes her because Elspeth is getting her own show, according to recent reports. This new series will transplant the scatterbrained attorney from her usual Chicago setting to New York, where she'll work alongside the police force to bring criminals to justice in her own unique way. Considering just how popular this character became after so few appearances, this is a really exciting prospect. Especially for actress Carrie Preston, who already won an Emmy for this role in 2013. Let's just hope that the word quirky isn't used too much in this new show. Number 9. Beyond Paradise Death in Paradise is a British police procedural drama that follows a bumbling detective attempting to solve crimes on a beautiful tropical island. Comedian Ben Miller first had the role, then changed to My Family's Chris Marshall, and then Father Ted's Ardor O'Hanlon, and eventually the royal family's Ralph Little. But it's that second name that we're interested in here because it's he who is reportedly getting his own show. Marshall, who you may remember as the horny English guy from Love Actually, is returning as D.I. Humphrey Goodman for a new show called Beyond Paradise. Joined by his fiancée Martha, Humphrey will be solving cases in rural England now instead of the island of St. Marie. The cast of the upcoming show also includes sex education Samantha Spiro, The Strangers Jade Harrison and EastEnders star Davood Gadami. Will it be any good? Well, Death in Paradise has never been particularly hard-hitting television, but hopefully this offshoot will be able to provide that comfort viewing that its parent programme is so well known for. Number 8. Paradise Lost From one show involving paradise to another, except this one will have a considerably higher budget. Paradise Lost is an upcoming spin-off set in the DCEU. It will follow the Amazons, the tribe of fearsome female warriors best known for giving the world Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman. Set before Diana's birth, Paradise Lost is set to be a Game of Thrones style drama, if studio head James Gunn is to be believed. Hopefully though, some of the elements will be toned down, because not every woman had the best of times in Westeros. Fans of the character are wondering if this is what has become of the planned third Wonder Woman movie that was effectively cancelled when Gunn and Peter Safran took over as leaders of DC. Director Patty Jenkins also announced that a spin-off was in the works, although that was supposed to explore the time between Wonder Woman 1984 and the cancelled third film. So at the moment, Paradise Lost seems to be shrouded in mystery, and Patty Jenkins' name doesn't seem to be anywhere near it. Will this save this faltering franchise? Maybe? Maybe not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Number 7. Waller Sticking with DC now, and yet another attempt to raise the sinking ship that is their extended universe. EGOT winner Viola Davis first appeared as Amanda Waller in the 2016 Suicide Squad movie as the hard-nosed government agent responsible for bringing together the eponymous group. Since then, she's turned up in the other Suicide Squad movie, Black Adam and the Peacemaker TV show. And Waller, a show about her, is coming to HBO Max. Not only is Davis returning to play the role, but she's also serving as an executive producer on the show, which means that she'll have a bit more of a say about how the character is portrayed. This could be a real chance to dive into one of the few interesting characters the DCEU has left. Waller toes the line very carefully between doing what's right for her country and doing terrible things to her fellow human beings. 
Now, with a tour de force like Viola Davis behind it, this show actually stands a pretty decent chance of being very good. However, we must remind you that it is a DCEU product, and so I wouldn't get your hopes up too high just yet. Number 6. Berlin Spanish crime series Money Heist was a welcome hit for Netflix when it first acquired the rights to the show in 2017. The show drew in millions of viewers for the platform, as well as promoting the absolute banger that is Bella Ciao. Unsurprisingly, this show about two synchronised robberies of two of Spain's financial strongholds was snapped up by production companies around the world. A South Korean remake subtitled Korea Joint Economic Area came out in 2022, and also we've got a prequel series named Berlin coming very soon. Netflix announced the project in 2021 and since then some more details have been revealed about it. The show will focus on Pedro Alonso's character who goes by the codename Berlin and will serve as a prequel to the first season of Money Heist and is coming to the streamer in December 2023. But with plenty of plot threads still under wraps, there's lots of reasons to be very excited for a return to this world. Number 5. The Continental in 2017, it was revealed that John Wick creator Derek Kolstad and director Chad Stahelski were working on a TV spin-off idea for their ass-kicking, gun-shooting, dog-killing hit franchise. By virtue of being on this list though, you can tell that nothing has yet come to fruition, and that is because it went through what we like to call here in the business a whole toilet load of difficulties. Keanu Reeves was set to reprise his role, until he wasn't. It was set to air on Starz Network, until it didn't, and they weren't supposed to cast Mel Gibson until they did. Still, after many, many years of waiting, fans of Wick will finally be able to get their hands on some more content. The Continental is set for a 2023 release on Peacock, Mel Gibson will be playing a role called Cormac, and Colin Waddell will be playing a younger version of Ian McShane's character, Winston Scott. Number 4. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon for a character who wasn't even in the original Robert Kirkman comics, Daryl Dixon has done very well for himself in The Walking Dead TV show. Played by Norman Reedus, this rugged redneck went from selfish loner to fully-fledged leader of the group over the course of the show's mammoth run. His crossbow-wielding, tank-destroying antics won him legions of fans to the point where a spin-off centering on the character made total sense. What was originally meant to be a show about Daryl and fellow survivor Carol was reworked into a Dixon solo venture when logistical problems prevented actor Melissa McBride from making the shoot. Instead, the show will feature the motorcycle lover washed up on the shores of France, literally washed up, not just dejected washed up, along with new characters played by Clemence Posey and Adam Nagaitis. Daryl must piece together how he got there and survive a brand new terrifying landscape. Now, this spin-off could go one of two ways. It could fill the void left by The Walking Dead wrapping in 2022. Or, everybody could be so sick of the franchise by now that they just hope that someone will put a crossbow bolt through its head. Number 3. A Yellowstone spin-off starring Matthew McConaughey Popular western drama Yellowstone seems to be in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Kevin Costner is said to be having scheduling conflicts, which is a major problem considering he plays the head of the show's main family. But don't worry fans, because Matthew McConaughey is here to save the day. The Interstellar star is in talks to come aboard the franchise in the lead role of a brand new spin-off. Whilst nothing has been confirmed yet, there's enough buzz around the story to get fans of Stetsons and Horse Wrangling very excited. Yellowstone has already churned out its fair share of spin-offs. Prequel series 1883 and 1923 have both gone down very well and attracted big names like Sam Elliott, Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford. There's also about 700 different spin-offs in the works, as Paramount Plus look to mine the series for all it's worth. Now, where McConaughey fits into this sprawling franchise remains to be seen, but you can rest assured he'll do a fantastic job. I mean, have you ever heard or seen the man? He was born to play a cowboy. Number 2. A Dexter Prequel Ah, Dexter. The show that ended so badly that a limited series had to be ordered seven years later to smooth things over. The Chronicles of Nice Guy serial killer Dexter Morgan was a huge hit for the Showtime network back in the day, with star Michael C. Hall becoming a big name off the back of them. After the pretty rubbish finale, Dexter New Blood turned up in 2021 to apparently tie a bow around the series. Apparently. 
Not only is New Blood returning for a second season, this time focusing on Dexter's son Harrison, but an entirely new show is also in the works. Under the working title Dexter Origins, a prequel series has been ordered by Showtime's overlords Paramount Plus, and the story will take us back to when the title character was in his 20s and explore what led him to think that killing bad people was the right thing to do. Number 1. A Billions Shared Universe Pitting Damien Lewis's hedge fund trader against Paul Giamatti's attorney, Billions is another Showtime show that debuted in 2016 and is still going strong to this very day. The glitz and glamour of big time finance is certainly part of the show's success, but it's also exceptionally well acted and written, featuring plenty of other great characters outside of the main two. Well, Paramount Plus clearly thinks so, because boy do they have plans for this IP going forwards. New head honcho Chris McCarthy wants Billions to adopt the yellow stone model and to create a vast interconnected canon to draw in as many eyes as possible. But while the Western show has diversified its shows with titles such as 1883 and Buck Reeves, Billions wants to introduce us to new shows Millions and Trillions. Trillions we can understand, it's a bigger number, ergo more intrigue, more excitement, etc etc. But Millions? A number that's smaller than billions. Why would anyone want to watch a show that is apparently less valuable than the show that came before it? Anyway, we don't know anything about what these shows are going to be about, but let's just hope that the concepts are better than the titles. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.